Welcome to the John Lyman Center for the Performing Arts. Please take this time to notice the exit doors located at the front and rear of the auditorium. Also, please be aware that flash photography and any live video or audio recordings are strictly prohibited. We ask that you take this moment to power off all of your electronic devices. Thank you and enjoy the show. Science has shown that a person's character isn't really established until they're at least five years old. But I am five. I'm more than five. Oh, well, that's the way it goes, I guess. You're a good man, Charlie Brown. The only thing wrong with my big brother, Charlie Brown, is his lack of confidence. His inferiority and his lack of confidence. His clumsiness, his inferiority, and his lack of confidence. His stupidity, his clumsiness, his inferiority, and his lack of confidence. has never picked a winning baseball game, never been able to keep a kite in the air, never won a game with checkers, and never successfully punted a football. Sometimes I marvel at his consistency. You have the ability, the ability, and the sense of honor that is very, very deep. I think Charlie Brown has really nice hands. It truly is a dog's life, filled with many challenges. And you try acting excited when that round-headed kid comes home from school. You're a prince, and a prince could be king. Now, Lias, I want you to take a look at Charlie Brown's face. Would you please hold still a minute, Charlie Brown? I want Lias to study your face. Now, this is what you call a failure face. Notice how it has failure written all over it? Study it carefully. You rarely see such a good example. Notice the deep lines, the dull, wicked look in the eyes? Yes, I would say this is one of the finest examples of failure face you're liable to see for a long while. You're a good man. You're a good man. Some days I wake up and watch the sunrise and I think how beautiful it is and how my life lies before me. And I get a very positive feeling about things. This morning, for instance, the sky is so clear and the sun so bright. How can anything go wrong on a day like this? I'm late!
easily Wonder why they stop and say You're a good man, Charlie Brown Never liked me anyway You're a good man, Charlie Brown Trying not to rock the boat Not to make a scene A good man, yes But I confess I don't know what they mean I want to I want to join the dance, but the answer is a clear that I hear. Lunchtime is about the worst time of day for me. Always having to sit here alone. Of course, sometimes mornings aren't so pleasant either. Waking up and wondering if anyone would ever miss me if I never got out of bed. Then there's the nights too. Lying there and thinking about all the stupid things I've done during the day. And then the hours in between, doing all those stupid things. Well, lunchtime is among the worst times of day for me. Let's see what I got. Peanut butter. You know, some psychiatrists say that people who eat peanut butter sandwiches are lonely. I guess they're right. And when you're real lonely, the peanut butter sticks to the roof of your mouth. Boy, the PTA sure did a good job of painting these benches. Look at her over there. That cute little red-headed girl. I'd do anything for that, cute, for that cute little red-headed girl to eat lunch with me. She'd probably laugh right in my face. It's hard on a face when it gets laughed in. There's a spot right next to her on the bench. There's nothing stopping me from going over there and eating lunch with her. All I have to do is stand up. I'm standing up. I'm sitting down. I'm a coward. 
I'm so much of a coward, she wouldn't even think to look at me. She hardly ever looks at me. Come to think about it, she never looks at me. Why doesn't she ever look at me? Is she so grand that I'm so small that she can't spare one passing moment? She's looking at me. She's looking at me!
sort of thing. A white dress and nice slippers and a big ballroom. But I guess that's sort of silly, isn't it, Charlie Brown? Oh, no, not at all. I mean, we all have our daydreams and ambitions or whatever you like to call them. I've had my own for years. I just don't tell people about it. What, Charlie Brown? You can tell me. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not the sort of thing I should tell. Just don't worry about it. Oh, come on. I won't give it away. Come on, please. All right. I've always wanted to be called Flash. I've always hated the name Charlie. I've always wanted everyone to know, everyone at school to know how great I am and call me Flash. I've always wanted to be real athletic. Hey, Riley, listen to this. <laughs> What's the matter, Sally? Well, I don't know. I was jumping rope and everything was all right, and suddenly it all seemed so futile. Beethoven used to be fond of taking long walks in the country. He was always inspired by beautiful sounds of the countryside. You blockhead, come back here with that ball! Beethoven had it nice. I think I'm losing my flavor. You were home from school. Gosh, fella, it's good to see you. <laughs> oh, Snoopy, you're so adorable. All right, you stay there on your on your doghouse. We'll be back later with your supper. I think Snoopy's such a wonderful dog. Me too. He's just about the best there is. Like me, I think they're swell. Isn't it remarkable how things turn out so well? Pleasant day, pretty sky, life goes on. Here I lie. I wonder if the 
us know tonight. I think I'll walk right up to that little red-headed girl and introduce myself. I think I'll introduce myself and ask her to sit next to me on the bench. I think I'll ask her to sit next to me and tell her how much I've always admired her. I think I'll flap my arms and fly to the moon. Yesterday I was a dog. Today I'm a dog. Tomorrow I'll still probably be a dog. There's just so little hope for advancement.
it's my blanket. And me, and me, and me, and me, and me, and me, and me. And me. It's in 
the sky. Leave it to me to have a one full kite who likes to see a little kid cry. A little less talk, a little more skill, a little less luck, a little more will. Gotta keep this fellow out of eye. Now that I've seen you chasing moles, climbing trees, digging holes, catching your thing on everything passing by.
I stand like a stick or I pop or I laugh. Or I don't bring a present or I spill the ice cream. Or I get so depressed that I stand up and scream. Oh, how could that possibly be? One small person as thoroughly, totally, utterly flawed as me. Well, that's a thing for a starter. A starter? Certainly. You don't think that mentioning me to these superficial failings is going to do you any good, do you? Why, Charlie Brown, you really have to delve. You're stupid, self-centered, and moody. I'm moody. You're terribly dull to be with. Yes, I am. And nobody likes me, not Violet, or Franklin, or Linus, or Schroeder. Or Lucy. Or Lucy. Or Snoopy. Or Snoop. Wait a minute. Snoopy likes me. He only pretends to like you because you feed him. That doesn't count. Or Snoopy. Oh, why was I born just to be? One small person is thoroughly, totally, utterly. Wait! You're not very much of a person. That's certain. And yet there is reason for hope. There's hope? For although you are no good at music like Schroeder or happy like Snoopy or lovely like me. Oh, my God. 
Space and lean your head on your arm. This can go on for a little bit. If you're unusually depressed, you may have to switch arms. <laughs> It's been a 
tough time, Linus. Luckily, tomorrow might be a better day. You know, in some parts of the world, tomorrow is already today. And today is yesterday. So if tomorrow is today, Charlie Brown, I can't think of a possible way that you could have a better day. <laughs> You're a lot of fun to have around. Rabbit, 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 rabbit